how E-Man's monk mode made me over $700,000 at the age of 24. Now, I formulated a protocol right at the beginning of 2021, and I followed that protocol for six months of the year. Now, last year I went on to make $9 million in that protocol, Called monk mode. So as many of you might know or may not know, E-Man, well, he's basically the king of SMMA. SMMA stands for Social Media Marketing Agency. He's a 21, 22 year old guru. And basically what he does, he teaches people how to quit their regular nine to five job and build an online business. Now you might've saw the fads online and I can tell you some of the fads you should stay away from, definitely. But this one, not so much. And so this is how this guy's journey started. Except for me, I was a, how do you say it? Uh, a college dropout. So how did a college dropout and a total pothead, I was smoking weed every day, I had a DUI, I was a total wreck, go from that to making over $700,000 at the age of 24. Well, grab some coffee, let me explain. So growing up in high school, I just hated the school system. Every single day, I never wanted to go to school and I would find out different ways to make myself seem sick so that my parents would let me stay in. I was that student that was showing up to class maybe every other day, and I was definitely staying away from school. Now, most of my high school years, I probably spent more time being high than actually spending time doing my homework, which is why, definitely why, I went to summer school on my senior year of high school. And it was all because I failed one class, and that one class, sad to say, was gym class. Now, at that time, my parents were telling me to go to college even after high school, even though they knew that I hated school. And so I thought I'd do what every other kid was doing at that time. My friends, my colleagues, the people around me were all going to college. And so I just thought, might as well just try out college and go. And in about four short weeks, I realized, yeah, college, just not for me. You know, I started to get that same prison feeling that I got in high school. I had this weird, strange feeling, this prison feeling, this feeling that you're trapped inside of a, of a system. And I just didn't want to be a part of that. And so I did the more responsible thing. And well, one night when I was sitting out in the balcony at my homeland in Korea, for the very first time I was visiting my family, I decided on that night as I was looking out that I was going to drop out of college, that I was going to do the more responsible thing. And so I took the bet on myself. And since I was too scared to break the news to my parents, well, I had to lie to them and say that I was going to continue going to college. And that was not a good feeling at the time. And so instead of spending the days in class, I was going to Starbucks every single day. And every single day, I was logging into my small laptop that I had at that time. And I was on YouTube searching how to make money online. And sure enough, I ran into a 16 to 17 year old kid at the time that was making more money than a dentist would. And so I started to question myself, is this even real. This can't be true. Why is it that a 17 year old kid that can start a business in less than a year make more money than a dentist that goes to school for six to seven years? I started to question everything. And sure enough, this kid was Iman Gatsi. And so I was freaking astonished. And that began my journey of building a marketing agency. Now, sure, I was naive. I was pretty stupid. I was still a pothead and I didn't have a lot of things going for me. And so for me to have the audacity to say that I'm going to start a business was a far fetch, but things turned out pretty well. Now, fast forward to now, we've been able to build a team of 10 people fully remote. I've been able to travel the world. I've been able to go to Mexico, Medellin, Colombia, and I really created a life that I never dreamt possible. Now, looking back, I was so glad that I made the decision to go all in on myself that night in Korea. But through it all, there's been one thing that's allowed me to get to the point that I'm at now at the age of 24. And it wasn't E-Man's course or any of his programs. And it wasn't any sort of online course. It was one thing. And that one thing is called Monk Mode. Now, if you go to E-Man's channel, I suggest you check it out. He has a whole playlist called Monk Mode. So why is it that E-Man and a lot of other gurus talk about Monk Mode? There must be some sort of importance behind it. And so Monk Mode is a protocol that you strictly follow so that you can achieve your goals. Now, there's a lot of variations of what monk mode could look like, but here's an example. 30 minutes of exercise every single day. Doesn't matter if you don't feel like it, doesn't matter if it's your rest day, do 30 minutes of any sort of exercise every single day. At least 20 minutes of meditation every single day. If you haven't done meditation before, this will be a bit hard in the beginning, but it'll get easier as you do it. No smoking, drinking, or vaping. That means no wine, no beer, no hard liquor, no weed, no vapes, or any other drugs. The goal here is to stay sober and clean. And then you can add on some additional ones. The ones I like to add on during monk mode is no caffeine, no porn, and having a meal plan. 
Now you might be seeing the above and be asking yourself, is this guy crazy? Is this guy crazy? Is this guy crazy? I mean, how is life supposed to be entertaining? How is life supposed to be fun without the things that I listed above? You know, I thought the same way. And this is coming from somebody that loves their wine. This is coming from somebody that loves to smoke weed. This is coming from somebody that used to have a lot of bad habits. And I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot. And so I remember when I first started monk mode, I had just moved into my very first apartment. It was a beautiful apartment in South Philly. Not really. And I had finally committed to starting a marketing agency. You know, I had tried a couple times before that and had just failed. It was about three or four times where I just said I was going to do it, but never really took the actions to build one and was never really able to commit. So this time around, I moved into a new environment and I told myself that I was going to do something different. And so not only was I going to start growing a marketing agency, but I was going to commit to monk mode as I did that. Now, long and behold, in less than three months, we made our first $10,000 per month month at the age of 23, all while being in a dark, and I mean dark, basement by myself, and I was fully locked in, laser focused on hitting my goals. And I was freaking astonished. At that moment, I knew that things were going to change. I knew that life could never be the same. And there was nothing different that allowed me to hit my goals this time around, other than one thing. And that one thing, again, it was monk mode. You know, as entrepreneurs, we have this inspiration. We have this aspiration to build an online business, to make money online, to travel the world, to have that kind of freedom. We want to be our own boss. We want to make our own money. We want to be able to work the hours that we want to work. We want to be able to do the things that we want to do. We want to have that kind of freedom that we see other people living on social media. But for some reason, we're not able to create it for our own lives. And so why is that? Well, it all comes down to implementation. You see, we can know how to make our first 10K a month. We can know how to make our first $100,000 per month. Heck, we could even know how to make our first million dollars a month. But information without implementation is absolutely meaningless. You need to be able to take action. For me, I struggled so much with taking action. I was learning things like clubbing, smoking weed, smoking vapes, Netflix and social media, mindless scrolling, poor diets, junk food, fast food, negative friends, negative thoughts, negative news, negative media. These were all things that were dragging me down that were holding me back from hitting my goals. But as soon as I committed to doing monk mode, I cut out all the shit that I listed above. After that, things were never the same and things took a rapid shift. I no longer cared to go clubbing every single night. I no longer cared to smoke weed or drink all the time. I was more inspired. I was more pulled to hitting the goals that I was hitting. And so this went on for the next two to three years. And we were able to make over 700,000 in cash, not revenue, in cash over that time span. But more than just money, monk mode has literally changed my life. I was no longer wasting time on things that didn't matter. I was no longer waking up from a hangover or being affected by last night's actions. Every day was a day to get after my dreams. Every day is your day to get after what's yours, to get after what's mine. Now, if you're watching this, I know you want the same for yourself. And so what I've decided to do is start a movement. So if you're thinking about starting an online business and you're looking to achieve the kind of freedom that you're looking for, make the money that you want to make, or you already run a business online and you're looking to make more money and be the best version of yourself, I invite you to our free seven day monk mode challenge. This challenge is about regaining control over your life, regaining control over the things that you want to create. And we're hosting it in our free group where we can all hold each other accountable and you can have an entire community cheering you on. We're going to be all holding each other accountable to stay sticking to monk mode protocol. Remember, the reason why we're doing this is so that we can be the type of person that deserves to hit our goals. This is the best way to start. This is the best way to bring back Big Mo. It's made the biggest difference in my life and I wanna be able to share it with other people. And so if you wanna join this group, go ahead, check out our bio and click the link to our free Facebook group. And if you want more content like this, I'll be dropping more videos for people that wanna start an online business or they already run an online business and help them enter monk mode and become the best versions of themselves. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, make sure to share it to your friends that you wanna do this challenge with, and I'll see you guys in the next video.